What's going on YouTube? Welcome to a game called Clockwork Empires. This is a very interesting looking city builder game. And by interesting, I mean this. It's based in like colonial Victorian times, but there are like fish people that can attack you as well as alien type of things. And it's really weird, but it's also very intriguing to kind of figure out what the heck is going on in this game. There's some very ominous like in-game audio too. And so it all adds to the feel of this game. Now, I did play the tutorial, so I already kind of know what the game's like, and we'll hop back into it, and you guys can see for yourself what it's like, and I'll try to explain things as I go along, but before we do that, I do want to say this video is sponsored by Clockwork Empires. Thank you for sending me a key and whatnot, and uh, you guys, if you're interested in checking out this game, we can at least check it out and see if you if maybe you'll like it. Um, look in the description below. There's going to be a link to Steam as well as to their website. You can pick it up for $29.99 on PC, and uh, it went out the 26th, so today. Uh, I'm recording it Monday, but it should be out on Tuesday. And so we're going to hop right into this, and you guys can see for yourself uh, just how interesting this is because it is uh, definitely different from city builders that I've built that I've played. However, it has very similar city building em uh, elements, and so it's not going to be anything like new to those who have been around city builder games. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it, and you guys can see uh, for yourself what it looks like. Now, when you first load up the game and you start a new game, it's going to generate a world for you. And you have different parts of the world that you could essentially build your settlement on. Like, for example, I started my tutorial here, and you can see all the different biomes that come with this one location. And uh, the different, like, uh, loadout, I guess, I don't know what, it's, what the loadout is. It's like standard set of supplies for new colony, well around a stock for settle, settling the frontier, seven overseers, two laborers, building materials. So this is like the basic type of thing. But, I uh, apparently you can unlock new places by reaching specific amounts of population and so you can kind of continue on your game in other places okay let's go here you and you guys can see what this game looks like because it is very different looking than what you might be used to in a city building game because you can kind of get up close and personal with the uh citizens and it looks different as i said it's kind of got a steampunk feel although not really sort of ish I, I mean it's you'll just have to see for yourself uh but i think people who like city builder games might be interested in this simply because uh it is different in some respects than other city builder games okay so when you first come into the game you're kind of thrown into a tutorial you don't have to do it obviously if you don't want to but i'm going to do it just so you guys can kind of see what uh this all what all pertains to the game and uh you can kind of see so when you first start out you get these packages dropped as you saw like it's like kind of the basic starting elements WSD kind of moves things around you can rotate yada yada now before i do anything there's one thing that i want to do first and foremost that i always forget to do that i have forgot to do every single time that i've kind of started i did want to um i did want to i, I tried to do this earlier and it didn't work out my audio got screwed up so i'm going to do it right now and basically what i'm going to do is I'm gonna I'm gonna level out all this terrain, and so I think people should get to work doing this here in a second. And essentially, what it's gonna do is allow me to um, build very. I'm, I gotta build certain things first, and I want to make sure that I have uh, everything squared away in terms of like where I can build things, and so I don't have to worry about doing this later. Because there's different things that people can do, and you can set different tasks for them. Like for example. This chick, I guess I only have one person who's going to be clearing this and settling this area, which is okay. Uh, but first and foremost, you have to build a stockpile, which essentially is a place where they come and they put all the goods that you have uh, essentially gathered, farmed, mined, yada yada. It all goes in this spot. And what I want is to have this entire area flattened so that way, actually, if I do this, uh, somebody else might do it. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, so if... if this area is all flattened, then I can put the stockpile down in the middle, and then I can build things around uh, that. And I think it helps with productivity. I'm not entirely sure, but I would have to imagine that it actually does. So once we build the stockpile, I'll kind of go over some other things about the game. And it's very straightforward in terms of like every other city builder. You have to start out with certain things, and then you can advance to new technologies, and you can like get better buildings. Um, bu buildings do different things, and you have to have certain buildings first before you can have other buildings, yada yada. It's very similar. So I'm gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna put this down right, he uh, right here. And then they will, once they're done clearing out this land, 
they will start hauling all the goods here. So, when you first get into the game, that's what you need to do. And then there are uh, specific things you can have people do, like chop trees, mine surface nodes, and um, forage. Now, you can do, like, underground mining, I think, too, which is... Um, I haven't done yet and so I'm interested in seeing what happens with that and all you have to do is click on a thing and then just kind of click a location and people will go and do that now I'm gonna have a couple people chop trees a couple people mine nodes this is clay right here and this is like iron or something and we'll start with that and we have one person foraging so let's also get another person going I'm I'm Oh, this is the exact same location, actually. I thought maybe it wasn't the same same, same uh, spot as before. So, once you have all of those things going and people are foraging and stuff, the next thing that you need to do is build a house. And so, here are your different buildings. You have different workshops, like carpentry workshop, kitchen, ceramics. They all produce different things. And then you have overseers who are in charge of the village. And so... You can assign workers to work with a specific overseer. And for example, I have two unassigned workers. And so I want to assign workers to chopping trees and uh, maybe f maybe f mining. She's mining. So two workers. One, she's got a worker helping her mine and he's got a wor she, worker helping or she's got a worker helping her chop trees. So the overseers are in charge. And uh, then essentially what you, what you do from there is... Uh, Let's see, let's see, uh, what's this say? Do hauling goods easier, seeing as you've already built stockpile, or automatically move goods to stockpiles, and you can click the stockpile for more settings. I actually didn't know that, that you can click the stockpile. I did not actually know this. <laughs> Interesting, okay. We have one ammunition. Okay, that's cool. I actually didn't know that. Um, you receive credit for completing this objective. Complete Overseers 2 to continue the tutorial. Um, okay, so buildings is the next thing and what we want to do first is build a carpentry workshop And then I think this is the module one. Okay, so the cool thing about building in this game is that Once you build a place you actually are just building the blueprint for it So you're building the floor and so somebody will come and start working on this taking the supplies that you have and they will use those supplies to build this building and then from there you can make things that are, you can do things like modules, which allow you to uh, put down specific things like a carpentry workbench. And so you have the ability to customize your house, the size and everything that goes along with it. And so we'll do that. And here's the interesting thing. The economic system in this game, the economy system in this game is very in depth, I guess. And um, there's a lot that goes into it. And each person is, can be happy have despair anger fear like each person has different statuses and so whoever i whoever i put in here in the carpentry workshop will feel a specific way based on how their workplace the carpentry workshop looks and so um what you can do to improve that is to make like windows or interior decor and uh that will improve like the overall morale of the people working in that place and so there's a lot that goes into this game but it's pretty straightforward and it's pretty simple. And it's, I mean, here's the thing, guys. If I can learn how to play this city builder game, anybody can. <laughs> because I am not the greatest when it comes to city building games. And like I said, I have not played played them in uh, quite a while. And so um, it's all kind of still, uh, still kind of getting used to. So he's still cutting trees. That's good. So, um, let's go ahead and, so if you have a house built, they'll actually sleep in here. So now that this is built, what we need to do is we need to assign an overseer to it. Each overseer has their own ability. So you can see this guy has carpentry skill two and nobody else has it. So this is the guy I'd want to have in here and he's got two plus carpentry. And then every other person has other things too, like naturalism, stoneworking, the art of work, good. He's going to be our, my uh, general guy. Um, smithing, farming. Oh, I've got like really diverse this time. This is awesome. Cooking. Oh my gosh. This is the best, uh, this is the best group yet, man. Okay. So we'll put him in here. He's going to be our overseer for the carpentry workshop. And then once he's in here and he's, this place is built, Thatch son is built, uh, building that workshop bench. What we can do from there 
is uh, overseeing your signing, such as their trades. And yep, we got that. Um, okay, so from there, what we what we can do is now that this is built, we can click on the floor of this place, and we can assign a product to this specific location. So you've got planks, which are used for everything. You need planks for everything. It is the most annoying thing in game, in my opinion, because you need them for everything. And then assembly workbench. Now the assembly workbench, which we'll build first, allows us to uh, make other types of things other than just crafting materials. So you can make like decor, cots for like sleeping, things like that. And so uh, once this gets built, we'll uh, kind of go from there and I'll show you what else is done. So here's the thing. You have like specific amount of provisions, which um, will supply you know colonists for uh, four plus days, and so you do need to refine. You need to refine your uh, your uh, food to make it better for people to eat. Now, since I made that assembly workbench, if you click modules and then you click ceramic workshop, you can see that I have assembly workbench highlighted under here now, as before I did it. So now I can put this down. And this is another table that I can use to craft things, as I said before. And so this comes into play later when I need to make cots and stuff for a house, which um, I think I'll make a kitchen next. So let's make a kitchen, which will be used to uh, to refine stuff. And if, before I do that, I think I need to uh, clear this terrain here. Because I want to put... Put the kitchen here, and then I'll put the farm here. So I'm gonna put a farm back there, and you can, you know, obviously do farming and stuff. It's pretty straightforward, uh, straightforward information about that. There's a turtle, turtle. Look at him. Hello, turtle. How are you today? Oh, he's eating. He's gonna eat my mushrooms. Get away from. Him. He's eating my mushrooms. You freaking turtle jerk. I didn't think he was gonna actually do it. Okay, so let's make some planks, because we're going to need planks. So we're going to make a bunch of planks. We'll just get like 15 going. I don't know how many I need, but it seems like a good amount. So let's go ahead and make a kitchen, which is going to be uh, helpful for later on. And you want to make these grids bigger size. I'm doing 7x7. Seven seven. I don't really know why. Um, but uh, we're making them size so we can fit multiple things in here. I feel like that's a good amount of space. I don't know. We'll put a door down. Spin it around. There we go. Apparently, I can't put it down. There we go. And uh, while we're at it, we might as well put down some windows, which do cost planks. But it is a necessity. Okay. Actually, I'll have some more planks going, I think. The only problem, though, is that I can't... I, I wish you could speed this process up. Because for whatever reason, I can't. We need planks for cots, too. Oh, my gosh. Pla they're used for everything. Seriously. Okay, are they still cutting down uh, cutting down trees? So, as you can see, if I click on this, it says negative one. That's your building quality and how, like, happy people are and how much decor you have and stuff like that. So, it, it, uh, that, comes in, that comes into play big time later on because people will get mad. People will start getting very upset at you. <laughs> and uh, it's annoying. All right. Cut some wood down. We need some more wood. We've got food. The food is getting lower. All right. The problem is, is I, I, I need like multiple benches making more uh, craft supplies. Because it just takes so long to make uh, planks and stuff. I, I need another workbench almost. Which I, which I could do. So if I put another workbench in here... I can make planks just like even faster, but what I'll need to do is probably take one of these, pers one of these people, and uh, assign them to. Who's this guy? Thatch and Thatch and. Can I assign them in here? I can't. Oh, here it is, right here. Okay. Grimly Thatch and. Zoom to worship. Okay, so I can put somebody in there. I didn't think I was able to at first. Idle on shift. Okay, so this is built. So we can make... Yeah, here we go. Make some more planks. That way we get more planks going. 
at a quicker rate. Yes. Planks. Okay, this is good. Planks are needed for everything, man. It's crazy. Survival. Uh, life on the frontiers. I'm crafting fancy planks and mining stone. You also need to know how to sustain yourself. Foraging and starting materials. Click crop fields. Okay, so now we're going to make some crops. So we'll put the crops, which is a maize crop, and we're going to put some maize right here. So, like I said, there are fish people in this game, and so you have to defend yourself, and so you can build a barracks and have guns and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Okay, survival, flattened terrain. Build a kitchen with a stone oven and cook at least 10 crops. So this is done. So we need to assign somebody here, and we have somebody who's good in cooking, right? Cooking skill. Okay. So now that's the sign, we're going to click here and we're going to go to modules, kitchen, and we're going to make a stone oven. Get that started. And then once this is built, you can, like, we can do the same thing we did over here. And, uh, nice, he's working. Sweet. Um, nice. More planks, the better. The more planks, the better. Seriously. Idle. She's idle. Get the cutting some trees down, man. What the heck? Here we go. So you can, like, obviously explore more more land, too. If you're idle, you, sh you shouldn't be standing around. You need to be working. Provisions 33, man. It's dropping fast. We got to get that farm up and running quick. Okay, is there anything else I can forage? And then there's these things right here, like, that require, like, a naturalist place to, uh, find out like what's there which I have yet to do gonna harvest what we can gather what we can okay so is this being built oh the farm is done so we have somebody who's got good farming skill too right okay so the farm's done so let's click on that and uh, they'll start farming some maize this guy's done so we can take this and we can make some Fruit medley and fungus stew. We'll do fungus, I guess. And you can inc increase the quantity, or you can do this right here, which uh, is a job order type. And I'll say, basically, said we have to, we can, uh, like, if you put like minimum of five, that means I think you have to, you, they will work as long as there is at least a minimum of five. Um, they will work until there's at least a minimum of five, which is kind of cool. Okay, what's going on here? Who's. Tilling, two done. Maybe we'll assign, uh, who's the farm guy? Who's, who's farming? Who's, who's doing the farming here? I assigned somebody here, right? And they're not working. She's angry. She might not work if she's angry. Chainworth. Okay, Chainworth. Okay, why is she so mad? We need a we need a house and uh, yeah, we need a house and uh, like living quarters for them. So we'll build that next. So if we go down to housing, labor bunkhouse, we can put. Here's the thing with the labor bunkhouse. They will get mad if there's too many cots in this in this place. And so it's important to uh, kind of manage that. And the cots can be found here. And so we're gonna make, we'll make five cots. So once they're done with the planks, they'll start making the cots. So he's making the fungus stew. Got three of five, we can do, we'll do more than that, I guess. And this will help with the provisions and whatnot. We'll go to 10. This will help with provisions. And then once the f corn is going, we'll be able to make a whole bunch of other things here. And so there's a lot that goes into this game, but it's very easy in my opinion uh, for what it is. And uh, yeah, I think it's a game that people who love city builders could really actually enjoy. Survival isn't about food, of course. You need safety as well. First, a good place for everyone to sleep. Up until now, we've been building workshops. There are other categories under housing. Housing has another important function. Allows you to get immigrants, right? So people out in the world will say, okay, these people have housing, they have work to do, we can go there and we can earn an income and become colonists of your place. So build a house at least with one clot to, uh, and complete survival three to continue. 
Survival 3, lastly, you need, of course, the military, my underbuildings, foreign outreach, you can make barracks. And so we'll do that. To continue with the tutorial, build the barracks and assign at least one lower class worker to a barracks. So we will do that once that is available. So, onto the... Oh, immigrants arrive! All right, sweet. So we have two to two windows, three cots, quality of four or better. Um, so we'll put a window in here, another window, two windows, and then we need three cots. We're making five. And you can change the order of the queue to make them focus on these more. Fish people patrol. Oh, no. Recent reports from passing airships indicate that an unidentified group has been spotted patrolling near your colony. Best keep an eye out and your military will staff. So we definitely got to get that military up and running because the fish people could attack. Make 15 planks. Completed that. Okay. So we've got the bunks going up. So let's uh, put down the bunks. Modules. Uh, housing is down here. And cots. Okay, cot here, cot here, cot here. There we go. So now people have a place to sleep and they'll be happy. Hopefully. Building plus one. Cots are going down right now. Sweet. Things are going well in our colony. It's taking a while, but things are going well. Are you not doing anything? You should always be working. Let's have somebody mine this stuff here. Get that out of the way. And whatever this black stuff is. Okay, do we need to forage some more? How's the mushroom going in here? How's this going? He's still making fungus stew, right? Look at our provisions, 56. The fungus stew is good, man. People, they like the fungus stew. Oh, yeah, we got workers that are just hanging around here, don't we? So, we'll assign them to the military when uh, when that's ready. So how are these co how are these beds going here? Stack of box cot. Oh, there she goes. There she built it. All right, Vestia. She's built. She's taking another one in. Here we go. Nice. Get that stuff out of the way too. Cots are going down. About to complete this. Our building quality is zero though. And so it's weird because if you put more beds in, it reduces the quality, while decor modules increase quality. A strange artifact has been discovered. Digging day in and day out is enough to numb anyone's mind, but Alberton Riverton feels something different today. A buzzing in the back of his skull that defies explanation. Sudden fury, she strikes at the rock. The buzz grows louder. Something is there, calling out with a voice. Uh, uh oh. Strange artifact. Zoom to location. What? Oh, it's going away now. Okay. So, yeah, uh, we've got three cots in here. Do we not have three cots? But people get mad. I mean, they don't have places to sleep, so they're like mad. If you put more things in here, they get they get upset that there's more there's more cots in there. It doesn't make any sense. People are weird. Um, yeah. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this first uh, look at Clockwork Empires. There will definitely be more to come. Let me know if you guys are interested in um, seeing more. Comment below if you are, and thumbs up the video and subscribe. Appreciate you guys watching, and I hope you guys are having a great day. See you in the next one.